when I was looking at new pairs of headphones, I came across a video reviewing four pairs by Linus Tech Tips. And the first thing that struck me was the packaging. Four different brands competing in the same market with the exact same approach. It's all very minimal, pleasing, easy on the eyes, and very easy to reproduce. This look will be familiar to anyone who's seen an iPhone, iPod, or any Apple product, and it's been adopted by small startups and massive tech corporations, even e-cigarettes. But it wasn't always like this. Before the iPod became the benchmark for MP3 players, there was a variety of designs and layouts. No one really knew what they were doing at this point, and some of these were forgotten for very good reason. But when the iPod started flying off the shelves, that's when imitating Apple became a no-brainer. Minimalism was the flavour of the day. It feels like it's largely been this way ever since. Remember how different Microsoft's branding used to be? Vista may be a bit garish and flashy, but it felt like its own thing. But after a switch to flat design with its branding and UI, Microsoft's own brand feels like a pale imitation. This approach even has a name, which is fitting called blandism. It's been adopted by startups, not just the big corporations too. It follows a similar approach. It's very simple, very minimal, and very, very forgettable. Apple didn't invent this approach, and were by no means the first to use it, but this is what their packaging has looked like for decades, and it's been integral to their brand. For the most part anyway. And each product is created with usability in mind, so the products end up feeling quite minimal. Everything is designed to be approachable and non-intimidating to the user. Even the logo is meant to be easy to understand. Their company name is an object that a two-year-old is familiar with. Apple's rivals obviously wanted a piece of the trillion dollar pie, so why try and be different? Just follow the leader instead. It leads to all these companies adopting what works, following the trend, and blending together. All of these products feel like they could be from the same brand. They look and feel that similar. Thankfully, the tide does seem to be turning. As we're seeing a backlash against flat or simplified logos, the move of simpler logos for car and fashion brands has been received negatively. Apple has much more creative branding in its advertising, which can be seen with the AirPods, Apple Watch and iPad adverts. Football shirts feature odd colour combos and trippy patterns, with some taking inspiration from shirts from the 1990s. Microsoft has moved away from flat, simple design in its UI by adding depth and transparency with its fluent UI system. And some brands are going retro, embracing their imperfections with contrasty photography and hand-drawn illustrations. There will always be a place for the simple, minimalist approach, but it's a competitive world out there with everyone trying to grab your attention. It's hard to get excited for a brand when it's just ripping off a more successful company. Wouldn't it make more sense to make something fresh, eye-catching or unique?